Hi Lucy, it's got from here, you guys. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you. Congratulations. You? I'm alright. I've yes. blitzed this in like a day. Oh my God. It's pretty hard to for, to stop watching, I'll be perfectly honest with you. What was it like when you uh, read the scripts for the first time? Because I imagine they were just as you were kind of as obsessive as I was watching it, reading them, I can imagine. It was definitely a whirlwind. Um, I was excited just to get into it, seeing Ryan and Brad's name on that. You know it's going to be something different than what we're already seeing. You know it's going to be something strange and wonderful. And getting into the world of all of these characters and the politician uh, was not a disappointment at all. I mean, I love, I'm so proud to be a part of a, a TV show that addresses all of the things that it does. So that was the first thing that I got very excited about, especially in the way that he does it. He's very conscientious of everyone and everyone's feelings and experience, so it was very exciting. Now Astrid is a, is a very curious character, she's got a lot of layers to her, I mean from the outset it looks like she's going to be the bad guy, but actually there's a lot of kind of sadness to, to her and her upbringing and everything else, I mean what was it about her that kind of drew you to her, because there's, there's so much to her? I think it is that, that we've seen a version of her character in a lot of shows and movies that is quite patronizing to her experience because it's so easy to be the stereotype mean girl without looking further and I think to encourage people to do that, to look a little further at the person underneath the label and the facade is really powerful and that's what kind of drew me to Astrid I think that you do in the first few moments that you exist with her think that she's going to be that mean girl and then you see her parents and then you realize that she's kind of cast herself in that role and that's how that's the only way she knows how to survive and thrive in that setting so it was a really interesting character to explore. And I guess with, with obviously you've done Bohemian Rhapsody and other characters, this one you get to spend much more time with her. I mean, was that kind of liberating that you get to, to delve into much more than maybe you would in a two hour, two and a half hour movie? Yeah, absolutely. And especially the way that we received the scripts kind of two at a time. So we didn't, we knew roughly what was going to happen, but never in detail. So it was always an exciting day when the scripts come in, when the brown envelope comes in. But, um, but I think it forces you to be much more pragmatic. In a movie, you can kind of map out your character arc and know exactly where you want her to go when. Whereas with Astrid and this show, you couldn't afford to do that. You had to be more spontaneous. So it was a much, I don't know, it was a kind of fuller experience. You had to stay closer to Astrid much more. Just finally, let me ask you about this incredible cast with Ben at the top of it, who is incredible in the movie, but there's so many amazing performances. I mean, what was it like being in that company? Because everyone brings, brings so much to every single moment. It was incredible. I mean, you prepare your scenes the way you kind of want to do them, and then you're sitting there with Dylan McDermott, and he's doing his whole thing, and you suddenly realize that you don't have to do anything at all. You just respond to what he's doing, and it kind of reminds you of of what it really means to do this job. And just working alongside people like that is so terrifying and inspiring. It's, yeah. Just finally, I wanted to ask you about Bohemian Rhapsody. Were you prepared for the level of success and acclaim that was gonna come from it? Not just for the film itself, but for Rami, but for all of you. I mean, that level, you couldn't have imagined anything like that, I can imagine. Not at all. I mean, we were very hopeful that it would reach people in a, in a kind of emotional level and, and people would feel I don't know, it would start a conversation in some way, but we didn't realize that it would go that far and wide. And it was so beautiful to get to do that with that family that is that cast and crew. Um, so to get to be at every event, I mean, sitting at the Oscars and then just texting each other after, or like seeing each other after and just laughing, it was unreal. And yeah, a really special group to have that happen with. Thank you so much for your time. Absolute Thank pleasure. You so Thank you. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!